Halloween and welcome to another episode of Katie Picks. It is that spooky time of year and I've got two recipes to get your Halloween party off with a scream. So we have got bunanas, eh? Yeah. And some scared strawberries as well. So we've got quite a ghostly, ghostly vibe going on. It's, uh, it's a little bit adorable. It's a little bit cute. So, you know, everyone's a winner. Everyone's a winner. Right, let's get started. Hello? 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 Oh, 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 whoa, whoa. <laughs> Sorry. Are you, are you guys okay? Oh, okay. So we are going to start with our boo nanas, which are the humble banana, obviously. I'm gonna take two of these, take them out of their skins. Now you're going to quarter them by going lengthways, so all the way down the banana and then in half, like so. And with your quarters, you are going to take some lollipop sticks and simply push them using the flat end in there. And then once you've done them, you're gonna freeze them. So even if you notice that the banana is starting to break a little bit on the other side, panic not, because in the freezer, they're gonna sort themselves out and they're gonna be brilliant. Okay, so you're going to take your baking sheet, rip it, pop it on a tray, and then just pop your bananas flat side down, and then those are gonna go in the freezer. Now, if you've got as good a freezer as I have, it will literally chill them down in the space of about an hour. Whilst those are freezing, I've got 400 grams of strawberries here that I'm going to turn into some very scared little things. So we are going to simply take a mug and some decent white chocolate. The reason I say decent is because if it's too cheap, it's almost quite yellowy. And I don't know about you, but I'm not seeing ooh, a, uh, a yellow ghost very often. And I'm gonna blast that in the microwave for 30 seconds at a time. Really important not to let it go too far over that because otherwise you might have a slightly charred chocolate. Okay, ah ha ha ha. It may mean that you need to do a couple of 30 second blasts in the microwave, but what you're looking for is, is melted chocolate. And that is looking perfect. That took me a minute and a half on a high heat in a microwave and you should get there perfectly. And then now I've got here, as I say, 400 grams of strawberries. I haven't chopped the heads off because actually it's really useful to keep hold of. Now you're gonna dunk it, twizzle it around in the cup, and then you're gonna put it onto the parchment, but you want the excess to stick with you because you almost want a little ghostly tail. So we're gonna lift it, dribble it, and you're just gonna dribble that tail and let it sit like that. And keep doing that with as many strawberries as your chocolate can handle. Ta-da! So these are now going to go into the fridge to solidify that little bit more and then we'll ice on their faces in just a little bit. Okay. An hour has passed, our bananas are frozen, our strawberries have solidified and we are moving on to the next step. So bananas out the freezer now. Our bananas have frozen, nice and rock solid and they've got a nice little sheen on the other side. I'm going to take my cup that I had earlier which still has a little bit of remnants in. I'm going to fill it up with chocolate right to the top of the cup. You are going to take your banana, you are going to dip your banana, you're going to coat it and then let it run off as well because you actually don't want them to be banana splodges. I'm going to use little choc chips to uh, stick little eyes on my bananas. Now because your bananas are frozen, this is going to almost set instantly. So once you've dripped it off, pop it down on your baking parchment and very quickly pop your two little eyes down and then one for the mouth. Look how cool they are! And because they've uh, been frozen, it means that they're going to solidify really quickly. But whilst we're doing our strawberries, we're going to keep these in a nice cool place, aka the fridge. And grab our strawberries out whilst we're here. Okay, now some of them, granted, not quite how I anticipated them. 
but others have worked perfectly and you know what they just need a bit of finishing touches i've melted some milk chocolate in the microwave in the same way that i did with the white chocolate and popped it into a piping bag and i'm going to use this to do my little spooky scared faces whilst i'm doing this now might be a great opportunity for me to say that if you like these recipes or any others on the channel then why not subscribe it's free after all and if there's any recipes you'd like me to give a go or perhaps you're having a bit of a kitchen dilemma then just let me know and i'll see what i can do for you okay so there you have it my scared strawberries they taste amazing and they took barely any time to do and certainly no effort to do either so i've got my scared strawberries on me now and my bananas and then the halloween party has started absolutely i'm really chuffed with these ones they're probably my favorites yeah where's my strawberries guys where the hell are they what is going on around here okay well until next time guys I'll see ya.